Good morning, everyone. I'm Bill Kane. I'm the Basalt Town Mayor, and I am providing a video update on many activities as we embrace the new year, 2022. So uh, where I stand this morning, uh, we are at about 10 degrees. So there are not going to be multiple takes of this video this morning. So if there are a couple bugs in this, I think maybe we're going to live with them. But it's a beautiful wake hold, and I consult the snow tail water equivalent in our snowpack and uh, things look pretty promising for a better than average year in our river so uh, that's some good news uh, so i just want to give you an update on a number of things that are occurring in and around the town particularly at town hall so i always begin these talks at least for the last two years about a COVID update and uh, as we all know we are well along with uh, the omicron variant of COVID 19 which is, has an enormous transmissibility rate. We have one of the highest in the state and uh, it continues to climb. We are hopeful that this week, sometime this week or in the next week, we will have peaked and that the occurrence and, and transmissibility and contagion rate will decline as fast as it spreads. So that's the hope. But in the meantime, a few things are happening on the regulation front. Eagle County, uh, as you may know, has listed as of yesterday the, uh, the mandate for wearing, wearing masks indoors. So that, as of today, is no longer the rule. Not the case in Pitkin County. So we enjoy our lives in both counties, sometimes with different rules, and that's the case now. So uh, if you're in Eagle County, there is no mandate for to wear a mask indoors. Uh, in Pitkin County, there is, so uh, just be aware of your surroundings. As usual, we encourage everybody to wear masks, socially distance, and get vaccinated. These are the three uh, defenses against this incredibly virulent uh, virus. So uh, we're hopeful kids are going to be able to continue with in-person instruction. Uh, the school system will continue with the mask mandate that's regulated by our school district. It's not a county health order. It's managed by the RE1 school district. So uh, we're going to have to live with these masks for a little bit longer, and hopefully we're going to get through this thing and be in better shape by spring. So um, update on some town activities. I'll just start at the top here. Beginning what we think will be about February 1st, we are going to launch what is called a micro transit improvement for the town of Basalt. Uh, this will consist of two vans that will be available to connect Old Town Basalt, Willett, Southside, and wherever you are in Basalt to anywhere you want to go in Basalt. So this is going to involve a, uh, a cell phone application so you can dial in, and this is dial -a ride And this is being funded jointly by the town of Basalt and by the Roaring Fork Transit Authority. So RAFTA and the town are paying for a one-year pilot. So we want, uh, we will get the word out. Uh, we'll publish notices, updates, and explain how the system will work. But please, after February 1st, keep an eye out for the, uh, for our microtransit. The motivation for this is under a broader heading called first and last mile. So in order to induce more ridership on our valley-wide bus system, we are going to connect people from their residences to the main trunk line stations. And hopefully we are going to use these monies to improve ridership on RAFTA. And it's also good for connecting uh, to dinner, to shopping, uh, to visit friends. Uh, this is available for anybody in the town of Basalt. So you can call in and arrange for a pickup or you can use your cell phone application, which we will be announcing in coming weeks. So. Keep an eye out for micro transit. It's going to be fun, and uh, we are finally, it's a long, been a long standing objective for the town to connect Willits and the town of Basalt with some public transportation, and here it comes. So there's that. The next big item on our agenda at Town Hall, as you may remember, uh, our voters approved uh, the continuation of a mill levy uh, with the uh, retirement of a series of bonds. So this has given us monies to fund three town priorities. So top of the list, affordable housing. Second is green initiatives to include a, a little microgrid with a solar array and storage uh, to give us more resiliency for, for power consumption. And uh, the third big element are downtown improvements for Midland Avenue. Uh, Midland Avenue has got dated utilities. We've got some deep utilities that are 80, 85 years old. We have uh, storm drainage issues. We have icing and drainage on our pedestrian ways. So 
it's time to do a little redo for our downtown and we'll be issuing uh, requests for proposals uh, for that project very shortly and uh, we're going to do a big public outreach uh, you'll you'll see some uh, survey work uh, occurring in the coming months so uh, we're going to start with the downtown improvements. The solar array, we're working with the school district. Uh, we have a, a strong advisory board called the Green Team, which uh, includes some folks that are really well versed in renewable energy, and uh, they're going to help us uh, design and implement a solar array to add greater resiliency to our electrical grid for the town. Then on the affordable housing front, we have BOC, that's Basalt Area Community Housing, also a group of really uh, competent uh, citizens who are advising the town council on how to best spend our monies. We have raised about six million dollars and are looking for additional grant monies to uh, to acquire deed restrictions on existing units, acquire land for new construction, uh, ownership, rental, all the above. So we're working with Bach to identify what the best mix for that will be and that work is ongoing. So they're the three big initiatives under Basalt Forward 2030. So it's housing, it's downtown improvements, and it's electrical grid improvements. Uh, other things, you may hear some rumbling in the background. Uh, we will be getting phase two of our park improvements. Uh, you've noticed we've gotten free range kitchen under uh, operation this winter, and uh, we're gonna continue with phase two as soon as the weather gives us a break and uh, we'll be gone in, in February. We've gotten many bids for all of our plant materials, uh, which are coming in, and it looks like we're gonna be in good shape to acquire all of the uh, plants, uh, shrubs, and trees that will be necessary to implement our park plan. Um, you may have noticed in recent days we are working to get uh, ice and snow off of Midland Avenue, our main downtown in both Willits and in Old Town. And uh, we appreciate everyone's patience. Uh, this has been particularly difficult because we went from a couple days where we were at 34 degrees and heavy snow with lots of moisture content and then within 48 hours we went to minus two so the effect of that was just to take that nice moisture snowpack and basically weld it to the paving so what you're seeing out there are excavators backhoes and motor graders that we borrowed from Pitkin county to try to remove this ice and these guys are doing a great job so it's getting improved and hopefully february's not far away we'll get some sun in here and uh and shape that up. So um, I think that covers the main points. We just wanna stay in touch with everyone. Uh, you know, we're gonna power through COVID. Uh, we're gonna continue to pursue our, our priorities at Town Hall and uh, also be cognizant we have a municipal election coming up. So in April, we will elect three new town councilors. So uh, packets are still available if you're interested in participating in local government and you want to be an elected official you can come to town hall and pick up a packet get 25 signatures and then uh, you'll have to deal with the likes of me and the other existing councillors that are going to be on for a while so with that i'd like to thank everybody that's our kind of uh winter morning update here we'll stay in touch with you about uh, covid rules and uh town improvements as they move along so thank you very much